video will be in the bar. Today I'm going to be converting decimals to fractions. A decimal is a part of a whole and fractions are a part of a whole. Decimals are a part of a whole. Fractions are a part of a whole. A number can be shown as a decimal and as a fraction. One of the very, very important skills in maths is changing between decimals to fractions. It is easy to do. Please just copy me. If you are not familiar with reading decimals and fractions, you can watch the previous episode up here. This is a decimal place chart. Please listen carefully, this is very important. The number is 1234.56678. is in the whole number part. 5, 6, 7 and 8 is in the fraction part. Number 1 is in the thousandths place. Number 2 is in the hundredths place, number three is in the tenth place, and number four is in the ones place. Number five is in the tenth place, number six is in the hundredth place, seven is in the thousandth place, and eight is in the ten thousandth place. One is in the thousandths place, two is in the hundredths place, three is in the tens place, four is in the ones place, five is in the tenth place, six is in the hundredth place, seven is in the thousandth place, and eight is in the ten thousandth place. Please remember this, this is very important. Now I'm going to do some examples. Example one, zero point three. 3 is sitting in the 10th column, so it can be called 3 over 10. 0 0.3 is the same as 3 over 10. It is easy. The digit after the decimal point beca became a numerator, and the denominator comes from the 10th or the 100th column. Example 2. 0 0.7 7 is sitting in the 10th column, so it can be called 7 over 10. 0 0.7 is the same as 7 over 10. The digit after the decimal point became a numerator, and the denominator comes from the 10th, the 100th column. Example 3. 0 0.31 3 is sitting in the 10th column and 1 is sitting in the 100th column so it is 31 over 100 or 31 hundredth. Example 4 0 0.123 1 is sitting in the 10th column and 2 is sitting in the 100th column and 3 is sitting in the 1000th column. So it would be 123 over 1,000. And if you are familiar with this, you can use this method. 123 is going to, is going to the numerator and, and the denominator in the tenth, hundredth and thousandths column. So the denominator has to be 1,000. So it would be 123 over 1,000. Example 5, 3.7, 3 is the whole number and 7 is a fraction of a whole. This number is going to be a mixed number. A mixed number is when there is a whole and a fraction. 3 can use 3 and 7 is sitting in the tenth column. so it so it is three holes and seven tenths. 
This is the final one. Example 6. 12.33. You can use 12 as a whole number and 33 as a numerator. And name the column to find the denominator. 3 is in the tenth column and the other 3 is in the hundredths column. So it would be 12 holes and 33 over 100. It is easy. 여러분, 쉽죠? 다음 시간에는 fractions, decimals and percentage 할 거예요. 다음 시간에 봐요. Bye-bye.